Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? I hope you're safe and doing great. I hope you are taking good care of yourself. Uh, I am super excited. I'm doing great and I am recording this video after a very long time. I'm so sorry. I was a bit occupied and couldn't post anything on my channel but as I'm back so here I am with another video and I would like to welcome you guys as this video is going to be very interesting and as I wanted to record this video way before because so many of you guys uh, ask a lot of uh, queries about this particular topic and if you guys have seen my previous videos then I, I, I really had mentioned about this topic and I mentioned mentioned it before saying that I'm going to make a separate video on that so here I am with uh, an exciting video for you guys I hope you will like it I hope you will enjoy it and I hope this is going to be beneficial to you whenever you watch it so stay with me so the all uh, cabin crew aspirants out there I am super excited super happy to say you that in the midst of this pandemic and we know what we have been through still going through but then the good news is aviation is started picking up and uh, if you have seen then you might have noticed that emirates qatar airways and other airlines they started calling the crew back there is the possibility in coming years that the companies will hire the fresh aspirants and i am uh, pretty damn sure that things are going to get normal soon so by then what we can do is we can prepare ourselves to um, to to get there so let's begin okay so before moving ahead in the video you know the drill what you have to do but before that if you're new to my channel I would like to welcome you to my channel and uh, let me introduce myself I am Sheetal I am flying for almost six years now I have the experience of both domestic and international airline so welcome to my channel if you like my videos please hit that like button subscribe to my channel to show your support and uh, let's grow together and if you're returning I would like to welcome you back so if you talk about uh, becoming a cabin crew or a flight attendant the very first thing comes in mind is is it compulsory to join the aviation institutes like Frank Fenn and other institutes and this video is all about Frank Fenn and other aviation institutes let me be very clear I am not against of any of those institutions please don't get me wrong neither I am saying that I am trying to help you guys to um, try to understand the basic necessity of uh, the basic requirements of becoming a cabin crew and uh, if you think if you are there and if you think that it is very much important for you to join any of such institutes please go ahead this video is not going to be uh, against of any of such aviation institutes rather I would try to help you to make your minds clear uh, what you supposed to actually do so to become a cabin crew the first thing is you are not supposed to join any of such aviation institutes so take that out from your heads it is not compulsory and you can still become a cabin crew without joining any of such institutes unless um, your parents are filthy rich and you want to spend their money somewhere so please go ahead I'm just kidding so before me telling that you should join any institutes or not you have to really understand one thing you have to really understand the requirements uh, for becoming a cabin crew and why it is different than joining any other institutes so basically here I am talking about the Indian aviation so you really need to understand what is DGCA first and its basic guidelines you might have heard this this term DGCA many times and uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you know what it stands for it's Directorate General of Civil Aviation so let's see what are the requirements for becoming a cabin crew and how that is different from any other aviation institutes what are the basic requirement in the sense what is the Indian aviation asked for what are the guidelines what uh, when an airline is asking for uh, 
cabin crew what they actually want. So basically DGCA is the father of Indian aviation. All decisions, all amendments, bringing up new rules. Even for the cabin crew has to clear the exam held by the particular airline uh, to get the DGCA approved license. So that important is DGCA. Now, as we have understand DGCA and the exams held by the airlines, now we'll understand what we actually see in Frankfurt. In Frankfurt, what we basically see is uh, those exams which we clear in Frankfurt and the certificates we get from Frankfurt is not the license to fly for any of those airlines in India. Those are just certificates saying that we have cleared the, uh, the, the, the course with Frankfurt, the term with Frankfurt. Frankfurt cannot give you a flying license. None of the aviation institutes in India or in the world cannot give you the flying license. It's just that you have to clear those exams under the specific airline. Under the particular airline, you get hired. So now let's talk about the training. Is it the same training we are provided in Frankfurt and any of those aviation institutes like the specific airline? So the answer is no. If you get hired in any of the airlines in India or in the world and if you compare that training to aviation institutes training, those are completely different. Those are not even 10% of what we learn in Frankfurt or any other aviation institute and what we learn in that particular airline if we get hired. So it's completely different. Now let us understand what is the basic, what is the minimum requirement to become a cabin crew. You all know you have to be 18 plus and then uh, no need to be a graduate. If, uh, if you are 12th pass, then that is great. My suggestion would be just don't settle in there. Go pursue your graduation, complete your graduation. Try to do something productive, something else which can give a weightage to your resume once the company start hiring if they say and the second requirement is the height and weight which is uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure uh, for male crew is 174 centimeters if i'm not wrong and for females are 157 centimeters and above for some airline i guess they ask for 159 but as far as i am aware of the domestic they ask for 157 so these are the basic requirements to become a cabin crew in indian aviation i guess this is clear to join Frankfurt, uh, I would say, uh, or any of such institutes is not easy. Uh, why? Because I'll tell you to be very frank, the price factor. Uh, not everyone can afford uh, that much of money to join any of those institutes. And I know many out there uh, who has this dream of joining every, any of those aviation institutes just because you want to become a cabin crew and you are not that financially strong it is okay if you are not strong enough but my point is not everyone can afford to join Frankfen because of the price factor uh, I joined Frankfen and uh, I, I did three months course and I know how expensive was it for me uh, and it, even if you are going for one year course it's not that easy so if you if you compare if you talk about the price factor yeah it, it, it does make a difference so the first point is uh, not everyone can afford okay, the second very important point I would like to touch about is the commitments we get from those aviation institutes uh, I really don't want to get into all of that but I know some people that they didn't make it they are not flying as a cabin crew neither they are in ground operations sometimes not everyone reached to that finish line so yeah sometimes those commitments which we get from those institutes are a false alarm I can say because if you are short in your height and you know the fact that you cannot 
be there but if you really want to give a try you go ahead and do it it's up to you if you lack in your communication skill communication skill is something where you can improve on it you can work on it but when it comes to height criteria when it comes to scars when it comes to tattoos when it comes to uh, those specific requirements laid by though laid by the airlines it's not it's not up to you that you can you can really do something about it you cannot really do anything about your height because it is something which which is not in your hand so my thing is uh, sometimes we get the false commitments from those aviation institutes uh, please if you join do your own research why you want to join uh, why you why you really want to join please make your heads clear saying that uh, if you are joining that it has to be somewhere helpful to you in your future somewhere it should be beneficial to you and it's really up to you whether you want to join in or not on the very start of this video i already told you that to become a cabin crew there's no need to join any of such institute my reasons was completely different your could be completely different anyone else's could be completely different if they want to join they are joining because they are very much sure that why they want to join so if you are making certain decisions in your life to joining those aviation institutes so please go ahead do your own research um, these are the strong points which i thought should be known by you guys uh, and i know i have been there uh, i have been there your place and i know what all thoughts comes in mind so yeah it that was it so if you want to become a cabin crew and you too want to attend those interview drives so let me be very clear and let me tell you that all those interview rounds are walk in interviews if any of the airline is coming up with an interview drive to in your city or anywhere else then it is always an open interview it is always a walk in interview that anyone can go and apply for that particular post sometimes you have to apply it online prior but sometimes it is always uh, the walk in drive so you just hold your resume hold your file groom properly and just go and be a part or uh, or i can say just go and attend that interview so this is how i applied this is how everyone else do so it is not always compulsory to be a part of the aviation institute join that particular aviation institute and then only you are supposed to attend uh, then only you can attend the interview of particular airline no it's not like that no one gives you the job guarantee and it's you who fight for it at the end it's it's not you only that having that dream in you there are many out there standing behind you who are passionate about becoming a cabin crew they have that desire to become a cabin crew they do have the same dream what you have but if 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 you cannot if you are not then somebody else will of course because um if you cannot get that job somebody else else will get it because there's thousand behind you so i hope you learned something from this video i hope uh, you got the heads up to join any of those aviation institute or frankfen and if you still have any queries please do not forget to put in the comments box below i would i would i would be happy to revert you back and um, as i told you you can also connect with me on my other socials please do not forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel for more latest updates and uh, i'll see you in my next video by then please take care stay safe and be who you are